I don't like food. I love it. I absolutely love mushrooms. As I mentioned, mushrooms earlier, I've got beta glucan and got a lot of soluble fibers, good for the microbiome. It inhibits angiogenesis. It's actually one of these grand slamming foods. A grand slam. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this video, we'll learn from Dr. William Lee, who will highlight mushrooms as a powerful food that can positively influence stem cells and overall health. According to Dr. Lee, certain types of mushrooms contain bioactive compounds that can help support the body's natural defense systems, including stem cell activity. These mushrooms are rich in polysaccharides, particularly beta-glucans, which are known to boost the immune system and may contribute to stem cell health by promoting regeneration and repair processes in the body. As a bonus, we have included some select stem cell boosting mushroom recipes. Dr. Lee emphasizes the role of mushrooms in enhancing the production and function of endothelial progenitor cells, which are a type of stem cell responsible for repairing damaged blood vessels and maintaining vascular health. By supporting the body's natural ability to regenerate tissues, mushrooms may play a role in protecting against age-related diseases and improving overall longevity. Incorporating mushrooms into a balanced diet is part of Dr. Lee's broader recommendation for eating foods that support stem cell function, helping the body to heal and maintain itself more effectively. Let's listen to the doctor describe a compound in mushrooms which is particularly beneficial to stem cell health. Now, there are some other foods that can actually help support your stem cells, which are required for improving your blood uh, vessels as well. Beta-D-glucan. Now this is a soluble fiber, it's a bioactive, and the fiber improves the gut microbiome, the gut microbiome lowers inflammation, the gut microbiome also um, uh, improves blood lipids, so it lowers the risk of having blockages in the uh, circulation, and the beta-D-glucan actually directly helps to grow new blood vessels as well. It causes angiogenesis, which is what I study, so I, that's why I know about this. Another food that actually has beta-glucan are mushrooms. I just love him! Mm. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Dr. William Lee has conducted extensive research on the health benefits of mushrooms and their potential to support stem cell function. He is particularly interested in the polysaccharide beta-glucan, a type of fiber found in mushrooms that has been shown to have various health properties. Dr. Lee highlights several important aspects of mushrooms, beta-glucan, and their impact on stem cells. Beta-glucan, a compound found in mushrooms, has been shown to stimulate both the production and function of stem cells, which are vital for tissue repair and regeneration. Additionally, beta-glucan plays a significant role in supporting the immune system by enhancing the activity of immune cells, thereby boosting overall immune function. It also exhibits notable anti-inflammatory effects, which help reduce inflammation throughout the body and may lower the risk of chronic diseases. Furthermore, research has suggested that beta-glucan possesses cancer-fighting properties, potentially inhibiting the growth and spread of cancer cells. Here's Dr. Lee telling us about which mushrooms have beta-glucan and where to find it in a mushroom. Mushrooms! Now, I love mushrooms. Not everybody loves mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. And I, I, and I know a lot of other people who love mushrooms. The white, the lowly white button mushroom filled with beta-glucan. All right. But then there's other mushrooms that also have it as well. Chanterelle, shiitake, uh, enoki mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, porcini mushrooms, you name it, oyster mushrooms. Mushrooms have beta-D-glucan. Um, and by the way, where is the beta-D-glucan found? It's in the cap of the mushroom, which is the part that we normally cook with, right? Uh, but there's uh, beta-D-glucan is also found in the stem of the mushroom, which I used to, when I used to buy mushrooms years ago, I used to come home, take them home, clean them up, and cut off the stem. I used to throw the stem away. But guess what? The stem has twice as much beta-D-glucan. So save the stems, eat the stems, make the stems into a food or saute the stems into a soup or saute the stems if you actually like it, all right? Now, I love to cook mushrooms, slicing them up, 
a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You can chop up some shallots, a little bit of garlic, add a little bit of thyme in there, and literally just quickly saute the mushrooms. You don't need a lot of oil and you don't need a lot of cooking time. And just within a few, within literally a minute, or so, you'll actually have perfectly cooked mushrooms. And if you slice them thin, they cook a little bit faster. And that's really one of the lovely things that you can actually uh, do with different kinds of mushrooms. You know, uh, chanterelle mushrooms sauteed that way are really amazing. Porcini mushroom is sort of a delicacy in the Mediterranean. Italians love porcini mushrooms. I, I loved it. I, I learned about porcini mushrooms, by the way, when I was doing a gap year in Italy. And the friends that I was staying with would introduce them to me. And I'm like, yeah, what's the big deal about mushrooms? You know, they're like, oh, it's a, it's a really big deal. And when I tasted it, it was amazing. It was like a steak, you know, like it's sort of like the T-bone steak, the ribeye um, of mushrooms are porcini mushrooms. Dr. Lee emphasizes the importance of consuming a variety of mushrooms to maximize the benefits of beta-glucan. He recommends incorporating different types of mushrooms into your diet. You can enjoy them cooked in various dishes, added to soups and stews, or even eaten raw. Also, stay tuned for the mushroom recipes. Here is a fun compilation of videos of Dr. Lee showing a variety of mushrooms, all of which have beta-glucan. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I wanted to share with you a mushroom, a very special mushroom called a morel mushroom. Look at these beautiful mushrooms with a honeycomb pattern. They have great umami flavor. They're a great source of protein, dietary fiber, good for gut health, uh, and they have a bunch of bioactives that can spark up your immune system. Dr. Will Lee here. What are these? These are woodier mushrooms. Number one, uh, it's been shown to have antimicrobial properties. It's a natural antibiotic. In the lab, it kills uh, Staph aureus and E. coli. Secondly, there are polysaccharides uh, in uh, the woodier mushrooms that have been found to lower blood clotting. So it helps, you, helps your circulation. Hi, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm at the Urban Farmer's Market. I wanted to share with you something cool that I found that's very beautiful. Check this out. Oyster mushrooms. Oh, uh, what's you, what are you into? Look at these. Funky. These are actually amazing natural mushrooms that are, actually have beta-glucan, which actually boosts our immune system, yeah, anti-androgenic, car cancer-starving, and they're a good source of vitamin D. We all need to actually boost our vitamin D in our bodies to help our immune system. So next time you're out there, check out, just look for those mushrooms. Look at look at how beautiful these are. Quite amazing. Dr. Lee out. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee uh, at the Asian market again. I want to show you something I found here which are shiitake mushrooms. Now, we normally think about shiitake mushrooms as uh, kind of small things you find in uh, uh, the um, grocery store, but check these out. These are Asian shiitake mushrooms. Look at the pattern on the tops of them. That actually signifies a quality, and you can actually have these dried as well. I'm gonna actually show you some dried ones in a little bit. But uh, shiitake mushrooms, actually have um, beta D glucan, which is a soluble fiber, good for the microbiome. And eating these types of mushrooms actually can help you regenerate because beta D glucan actually uh, stimulates uh, regeneration. Check this baby out. I found fresh porcini mushrooms. This is called uh, Boletus edulis. It is a mushroom that is used, um, prized for cooking absolutely delicious. Usually find it dry and I would cook with it in risotto or whatever, but this is really a really cool find, um, especially this time of the year, fresh porcini mushrooms. So I bought a, uh, a small bag of it and I want to show you what I cook it with, but at first I want to tell you what's in it. All right. So the thing about mushrooms is that they contain a natural bioactive called beta-glucan. Beta-glucan is a soluble fiber, good for the gut microbiome, boosts the immunity, your immunity, and that she's been shown to be cancer-starving. So this is part of the eat to beat disease um, kind of formula. Porcini mushrooms, and they, they taste really, really great. Meaty, nutty, absolutely delicious. So um, where is the beta-glucan? It is in both the cap, let me show you the cap. Here's the cap. And it's in the stem. And for porcini, okay, 
uh, you want to make sure that you're actually eating the stem as well. You just slice this by the side. Let me show you a bigger one right here. All right, so do not just eat the cap. You want to eat both. Slice up the cap, slice up the stem, and you'll get your beta D glucan. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm actually at a farmer's market in Maine, and I am in front of the stand of the Mushroom Hut. And Hello. I'm working, I'm with, with the mushroom grower here. Uh, and uh, what is your name? I am Nico. Nico, all right, Nico the mushroom grower. And uh, I have some really unusual things to share with you. Check this out. You guys recognize what these are? They look actually like a, um, I don't know, a guinea pig. Like a Something, or a hamster. Something along um, those lines. They're actually lion's mane mushrooms. And I just bought them. I'm gonna actually pick one up and show it to you. The cool texture, it, it's not furry. It actually feels like a mushroom, actually, and it's got uh, medicinal properties. Uh, Lion's mane mushrooms are used in Asia, uh, so you think about Mediterranean uh, uh, food uh, for um, actually centuries. Here are some videos of Dr. Lee talking about more varieties of mushrooms. Will Lee here. I am at an urban farmer's market on a Sunday in New York City, and I am here at the Dan Madura Farmer's Stand. Mushrooms, look at all the different mushrooms here. Some of my favorites. Um, Crimini, shiitake, oyster. These have all been studied for their health benefits, king oyster. And then here you actually have some of the more interesting lion's mane, maitake, piopini. Let's go take a look. I'm actually with Diki, who is actually uh, manning the stand, and I want to show you some of the beautiful mushrooms from upstate New York. Um, and here is a maitake mushroom. Can I pick one up? Yes. Thank you. Look at this beautiful maitake mushroom. This actually is a great source of beta D glucan, which is good for your immune system. And look at how it's attached at the bottom, at the base. You can slice this up, saute with a little bit of olive oil, extra olive oil, and garlic. Um, here's the piopini mushroom. Beautiful. Really uh, delicious. These can be sauteed up as well. Beautiful. And king trumpet mushrooms, also a great source of beta D glucan. And check this out. Lion's mane. This is actually a medicinal mushroom. Look at the bottom how it's picked. It is kind of light and airy. And uh, we're gonna find out. We're gonna watch and load up the mushrooms in the bag. Now let's go to the other side. I want to show you what else is here. These are some of the portobello. Dicky, what type of mushrooms are these? Uh, this is the oyster, regular oyster mushrooms. Regular oyster mushrooms. Brown mushrooms, yes. They actually look like oysters, yeah. don't they? They're beautiful. Yeah. This is the yellow mushroom. This one's called what? Yellow oyster mushroom. Another, another oyster a, mushroom. Yeah, same oyster mushroom. All right, so hang on a second. I gotta, we're going to talk with Dicky here. Hello. All right, Dicky. What is your favorite mushroom? Uh, I love the maitake. Maitake. How do yes. you cook the maitake? I cook that just straight like a... Sometimes I can roast the whole mantaki in the oven. You roast the it. olive oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. Wow, that sounds really and good. How long do you roast it? Almost 15, 20 minutes. Okay, at what temperature? Uh, 450. Okay, 450 yeah. for 15, 15 or 20 minutes. Yes, a little yeah. olive oil, a little bit of garlic, garlic and a little salt bit of salt. and pepper. Oh, okay. All right, we're hearing it from the <laughs> mushroom purveyor. I'm here with Diki. All right, so everyone should just... Pay attention to these beautiful mushrooms of the mushroom stand from upstate New York. Dr. Will Lee. Uh, this is really good for the brain. Oh, yes. That's the lion's Looks mane. like the brain, the yeah. lion's mane. Yes. All right. All right, Dr. Lee here. I am actually at the market and I'm actually going to point out some mushrooms. Check it out. This is a whole group of different mushrooms here. And I want to actually pick out some and talk about them. So, first of all, what do mushrooms have in them? Mushrooms actually have beta d glucan uh, and beta d glucan is actually a soluble fiber that feeds your gut microbiome so it improves gut health which means that it actually improves your immunity and it actually lowers inflammation the other thing that uh, it can actually do is to help uh, produce these uh, short chain fatty acids that help your lipids so you can actually lower your cholesterol uh, the harm bad cholesterol and get better good cholesterol 
beta-glucan also and mushrooms actually also up your metabolism and I write about that in my new book Eat to Beat Your Diet which I hope you'll read because it talks all about the clinical studies with mushrooms so here are the ones some of the ones that actually stand out oyster mushrooms they actually are absolutely delicious to eat packed with dietary fiber um, let's see oh look at these this is a royal trumpet mushroom look how big this guy is this you'd want to kind of slice up and saute uh, so that um, it's almost like a steak it's a very meaty mushroom uh, let's see some hedgehog mushrooms these are tiny guys they kind of look like chanterelles um, also very delicious and here are some real chanterelles one of my favorite mushrooms chanterelle mushrooms um, uh, chanterelles actually have a lot of baby beef we can and let's see uh, crimini also very good this actually is used in lots of great recipes and then something unusual I say, oh shiitake shiitake actually has a ton of beta d glucan all right now when you're cutting uh when you're cooking with mushrooms you might actually get the top and cut off the stem but i want you to keep the stem the stem has twice as much beta d glucan so if you're going to use mushrooms cook with the stems as well you might make them separately but cook with them all right now check this out this is unusual cordyceps mushrooms okay this is actually an herbal mushroom very beautiful look at how delicate these actually are cordyceps actually medicinal mushroom actually has um, different uh, bioactives in it that actually can um, uh, activate your immune system as well in your androgenesis circulatory uh, defenses all right that's it for now i want to actually uh, tell you to uh, get my book eat to beat your diet it's got plenty of stuff uh, about the clinical studies of mushrooms and many of the other things that you find in the market i'm hungry here are some excellent stem cell boosting mushroom recipes. First recipe is mushroom and spinach stir fry, which features she take mushrooms along with spinach, broccoli, carrots, garlic, ginger, soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. Start by sauteing garlic and ginger in a wok or skillet. Add the mushrooms, broccoli, and carrots and stir fry until tender. Incorporate spinach and cook until wilted. Finally, season with soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sesame oil, and serve over brown rice or quinoa. Mushrooms! Another great choice is mushroom and lentil soup, made with mushrooms, lentils, vegetable broth, carrots, celery, onion, garlic, turmeric, and cumin. Saute the onion, carrot, and celery, then add mushrooms, lentils, vegetable broth, turmeric, and cumin. Simmer until the lentils are tender, then season to taste. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Put it on mushrooms. For a refreshing option, try mushroom and quinoa salad, which includes she take mushrooms, quinoa, spinach, avocado, cherry tomatoes, red onion, lemon juice, and olive oil. Cook the quinoa according to package directions and saute the mushrooms. In a bowl, combine the quinoa, mushrooms, spinach, avocado, cherry tomatoes, and red onion and toss with lemon juice and olive oil. Used roasted mushrooms, pickled mushrooms. Mushroom and tofu stir fry is another versatile recipe that features she take mushrooms, tofu, broccoli, bell peppers, garlic, ginger, soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. Stir-fry garlic and ginger, then add tofu, mushrooms, broccoli, and bell peppers. Stir-fry until everything is cooked through, season with soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sesame oil, and serve over brown rice or noodles. Man, I feel like a smoothie. For a unique twist, try mushroom and avocado smoothie, blending mushrooms with avocado, spinach, banana, almond milk, and hemp seeds until smooth. This food is amazing. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the stem cell diet. Thanks for watching Longevity to Processed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.